It's the 9th of March and this is my first gardening purchase of the year. A, well, I won't try and pronounce that, but it's a clematis or a clematis, depending on how you like to say it, something or other, Nike. As recommended by none other than Joe Swift in a Gardener's World magazine from donkey's years ago. So I got this from B&Q, you'll see the price tag of £9. I took it to the till and it came out as £4.50. They didn't tell me there was a half price sale, but there obviously was. So this is going to be planted here. And at the moment, it's just a little stump of a plant. You can see where there's a bit of previous growth last year. We'll look at clematises or clematises a little bit later on. But today, before the rain starts, I think we can give the grass its first light mow of the year. This is my new trusty mower. I got it just under a year ago. It's a McAllister, which is B&Q's own brand. I'm not sponsored by them, they give me nothing. That just happens to be what it is. I did have a Bosch similar style mower before. Uh, that went the way of all the earth last year. And I was looking around for something just small. You don't need much for this ground, really. And I'm happy to spend an extra five minutes maybe mowing the lawn rather than spend an extra hundred pounds getting uh, a bigger mower. Yeah, what's the point of that? And anyway, my old mower broke, scratching around for something, and then a friend of mine who was over here with an oil company from America was sent back all of a sudden, and he was getting rid of loads of stuff, and this came to me free. And then I happened to see it in the shop, so I'm glad he was giving this away free before I went to the shop. So it's the first mow of the year. We set the blades on a higher setting. So there's about five settings with this and we'll set that on the highest one. So it's down here somewhere. I won't do this one handed and then we'll get mowing. Not bad for one-handed. And that's not a bad return for the first mow of the year. With a blade set high, sometimes what you pick up is not much, but yeah, that's all right, that's all right. Ish. So, that is not the first job that I've done this year. We'll tidy that away in a minute, but while I've got the camera out, so that's my son's decorative tin making a noise. Um, so I sieved through the compost a few weeks ago, and I was able to compost this area. That's not weeds, by the way. That's clover, grown, so the bees would enjoy it. So the compost was put all along here, up to this uh, rose bush at that point there. I also took out, from this point here, a lavender. Uh, we have the washing line here, and this is overgrowing and touching my wife's legs and touching the washing and she hates the smell of lavender so I've moved it along a bit and as I took it out it naturally fell into two clumps so that's now separated there and there looks a bit woody and ropey we just wait to see if it's taken or not 
So that was all the compost used up. And just a few days ago, I replaced these two fence panels, which were about this height and very old. In fact, the top had fallen off this second one here. And it's a pity, really, because they're lovely new panels and I can't really see them from the house. But they're there. And as you'll see in other videos, hopefully, we're hoping to get a new shed built in all this area, get all this tidied up. And so these will be completely covered. So I had to really replace them before the new shed goes up. I won't be able to do anything here. This is the pathetic raggedy end of the garden. Uh, never really got this very tidy. Uh, I once got everything nice and tidy up to about here with a screen. And this is going, this is just the behind the scenes thing. We used to have a pampas grass here and I put a kind of a pallet screen here just to hide everything. But it's uh, never been exactly tidy. I have recently taken out these lilac, lilac bush that was there in preparation for the new shed. And we're contemplating what to do about this magnificent tree and you'll see that on the other on the shed videos but when i was doing that also moved this willow tree this little decorative one that was just underneath that box there one other job i've done this year so with the soil i took out from the where the lilac tree was i've sieved it it's very light and it seems quite hummusly rich so i've i've sieved it and put some here and all the way down here on this blue planter, just to somewhere to put it. Uh, I need to do something about this, obviously. And I put some in a, a bin and some in the front garden, which you'll see at a later date. This is blue planter, a couple of years old now. I've got some strawberry plants. I took that's one plant here, lots of runners, and here verbena. All these are last season's cuttings. I'm just hoping they come back into life. And the plan is that I'll have verbena just dotted all the way along this border. Got a few few of them already. But it's quite nice because you have a nice um, flower head up about this height, as well as the flowers down here. In the meantime, we've got some bluebells coming through, some tulips. Uh, snowdrops have come and gone. And these lush dark green sprouts sprouty things are chives i don't grow them for herbs though i'm not i'm not against eating chives but i got this idea i was watching river cottage in hughes garden and just saw a whole row of these things that looks brilliant and early spring uh, you have these lovely green shoots and purple pom-poms just lining the path looks fantastic other plans are that with the verbena I'll also get some oxide daisies sprinkled along sprinkled along this border so you have white and purple and you've probably seen that I've got a weird kind of tone system going on here we started this end just retreating the fence panels got to this one and I've got wires here for growing um, well climbers they can cling on to that and I've also got wires here now this is in two sections these wires so I, I unraveled them and stretched them out didn't want to also unravel these and get them all tangled up again so I simply went on to this panel which doesn't have any wires on at the moment and I'll come back but rest assured it will be a uniform brown tone that's cuprinol harvest brown I've taken for that so that is pretty much where I'm at to so far this year on my gardening jobs. It's a long way to go. Oh, you might see there on the table cuttings from the dogwood, which is just there, and a few other spots along the border.